I'm, I'm with Stephen Blair. He's the New Zealand Trade Commissioner to Korea, based here in Seoul. Stephen, in the last three years, really since the start of COVID, we've seen quite a strong, almost in some cases, double-digit growth in the demand from Korea for a range of New Zealand food primary sector products, food products. What is it do you think that New Zealand's primary sector is offering that is holding such strong appeal to the Korean market? Yeah, well, uh, we've seen some amazing growth uh, by New Zealand companies and exporters um, here. You know, some of the factors that uh, drive that uh, that demand. I mean, this is the the fastest aging population in the world, so um, uh, older population looking for uh, for protein and and um, uh, healthy food options. Uh, certainly, convenience is a big factor, um, and and. That trust that the, the food that the, the consumers are getting um, it comes from uh, you know a safe, reliable um, uh, country. Um, New Zealand has great certification, has great um, reputation, um, and also it's nutritious. It's it's good good for them um, as well. Um, so when I think about uh, New Zealand dairy, uh, New Zealand kiwi fruit, for example. Um, you know some of the some of the main um, drivers um, there. Meat as well is seeing a, a real increase um, in sales, which is exciting. Um, and New Zealand wine as well has done particularly well over the COVID um, period. Something a lot of us may not have appreciated, may not appreciate, or maybe have forgotten. Stephen, is there's some fairly strong historical ties between New Zealand and Korea, going right back to the Korean War. Uh, what, what 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 are some of the the aspects of that do you think have strengthened that trade relationship? Yeah, well, Koreans have uh, really long memories, and and certainly as a sending state uh, to the Korean War um, in 1950, um, New Zealand, um, all all the troops that came here were actually volunteers, which um, which is really surprising for for Koreans. Um, came and fought um, and, uh, the the war here. Um, just just yesterday, I was up in a town called Gapyong, um, which is uh, right at the north uh, of of uh, of of Seoul. Um, that's a town where the Australians uh, and New Zealanders held off. Um, 10,000 Chinese um, troops. It was the, the Chinese last spring offensive to try and capture Seoul um, and the Kiwis um, held them held them off. At one stage they, they sent uh, 1,700 25 pound shells in a, in the space of the, the artillery sent that in the space of 35 minutes and going up there um, seeing the kids at the, the school we, we provide um, some small scholarships to them, the business community and the, the embassy um, fantastic history um, and connection that New Zealand has uh, with Korea going back, you know, nearly 70 years. So um, those those ties um, that we have are really, really strong and therefore New Zealand's reputation as um, a country that you can trust its food, produces great uh, quality products, um, uh, you know, it still remains. Yeah, and back, back by some, some sound historical ties there. Indeed, yeah. Thanks, Stephen.